Here we have our stripped down XTZ690, or the T700 as it's commonly called. Frank has pulled it apart, developing the cruise control for it, but we've got a minor hiccup and delay because we're waiting for some terminals from China. But I thought I'd give you an overview today of uh, where the parts mount, and uh, that's for the MC Cruise of course, and uh, while it's stripped down we can see very clearly the parts that are involved. Here I'm focusing in on the electric servo. This is our new electric servo which tucks neatly behind the fairing beside the radiator. Um, if we follow that cable along back to the cable interface unit, this cable interface unit is, uses a carburetor cable uh, which is only 100 millimeters long. We haven't used that cable since the 1500cc Valkyrie in 1998 but it worked perfectly on this bike and the short cables are going to give it excellent performance I believe. For those of you who don't know how our cable interface works we basically take the opening throttle cable off the throttle spindle and plug it into the cable interface unit which has a couple of spools in it. One is a servo spool which is in the base of the unit. On the top on this bike uh, there's a dual spool and what we call the carburetor cable, obviously a hangover from old days, this bike has uh, EFI and uh, it runs from the throttle spindle through to the cable interface unit and the original throttle cable locates into the CIU as well and we always make sure that we can use an original throttle cable in case one fails and you can then purchase one uh, anywhere in the world with in this case Yamaha's support. On this particular bike Frank plans to put the cruise control computer up in either this spot uh, or down here on top of the battery. We're not certain yet at this time. This is the problem. It's the main ECU for the bike and we're waiting for terminals to come from China so that we can do a seamless patch into that without cutting wires or modifying the harness in any way. So there it is, the T700 MC Cruise Development and we're hoping to release this product probably within the next four to six weeks.